Hi! Today I want to share with you my thoughts on a topic that continues to resurface. Dental floss versus interdental brushes and what should we recommend to our patients to enhance their oral health. My name is Adrienne and I'm a registered dental hygienist and I also work for oral science. Every day, I have the privilege of working and interacting with oral health specialists, medical and dental professionals all across Canada. One of the things we all have in common is that we all want to offer optimal and personalized care to our patients, which will make them happy and loyal to our dental office. This will only help make the hygiene department successful. Keeping that in mind, I would like to share with you today a few recent studies related to dental floss and its alternatives. Recently, a report by the Associated Press has found that no scientific evidence has proven the effectiveness of flossing. And because of this, the US Department of Health has removed its recommendation to use dental floss from its latest guidelines. This report sent a shockwave through the dental community. It brought back to the table the debate between flossing and its alternatives. In light of the situation, we asked ourselves this question. Which alternatives would both patients and science approve? We strongly believe that patients will benefit most by using a dental aid that they are motivated to use and that science has proven to be efficient. It then made us think of a four-year study done by the University of British Columbia which conclusions were published in 2010 and 2011 in the Journal of Canadian Dental Hygiene. Some interesting observations were Patients rarely use dental floss. If the patient does not have the dexterity or motivation to use dental floss, how should we expect them to use it? This study demonstrated that patient compliance is directly associated with the ease of use and their motivation. It is important to specify that this study does not suggest to stop using dental floss completely because it could be a good solution for the anterior teeth when applying the right technique. A second observation was that interdental brushes are easy to use and well accepted by patients. I just spoke about patient compliance being associated with the ease of use of a product. The study found that patients were more than twice as likely to agree that interdental brushes were easier to use than dental floss. Another observation was that interdental brushes significantly reduce bleeding sites. When using dental floss or interdental brushes that are not adequate for the space, there is still approximately a third of the interdental space that is unreachable. It is not surprising that many patients that floss still arrive in our offices with caries and gingivitis. To be efficient and to manage inflammation, patients need to use an interdental brush that is adequate for their interdental space. These observations reinforce my vision as a dental hygienist of the advantages that an interdental brush system offers versus dental floss. As a former practicing dental hygienist, I know and understand how frustrating it is to see patients on their recall appointments and realize there are little to no improvements due to their lack of motivation because the tools are hard to use and they cannot see a difference. How often did you hear? Yes, but I've always been bleeding anyway. Now, with Curaprox, everything changes. This kind of situation will be easier to manage for you because Curaprox interdental brushes are easy to use. After only a few days using Curaprox, your patient will already feel and see a difference. As a dental professional, you know how important it is to take the time to discuss and show your patients what they really need and how to use it. And with Curaprox, it's easy to identify the right brush for the right space. So, it will allow you to personalize your approach and recommendations Therefore, when the patient leaves the office, they will know why and how to use the interdental brushes. My experience is when they start using them, they never go back. It would have greatly changed my work as a dental hygienist if I knew about Curaprox before. I believe it will make a huge difference in your practice as well. And if you wish to learn more about Curaprox, I suggest two things for you. First, you should definitely meet with one of our oral health consultants. They have a lot of experience at your side and they are very committed and passionate dental professionals. They will give you all the knowledge you need and the support regarding Curaprox. I invite you to click on the meeting link at the right side of your screen to make a request for a meeting. Second, if you are looking for a more in-depth possibility, you can register to our full day course Curaprox ITOP. 
as there will be dental professionals at the course, it will allow you to share and learn with others. You'll also get a lot of free products and continuing education credits. Click on the ITOP link on this page to register and get the full details. If you have any further questions, you can always contact me at service at oralscience.com or by calling at 1-888-442-7070. Thank you so much for your time. Do not forget to make a request for a meeting or to register to the ITOP course. I hope to hear from you soon.